Welcome to netfit.tv. We're here to help motivate and dedicate you to living a healthy and vibrant lifestyle. My name is Chelsea and I'll be leading today's power yoga practice. On my left is Megan, she'll be working with level one. And on my right is Carl, he'll be working with level three. And I'll be working with level two. Remember to make many modifications only working where the body allows. And today we're going to be bringing mind, body, and breath into unity. Let's get started. So coming up to the top side of your mat, making sure that your feet are hip width distance apart. You feel your big toe, your little toe, and your heels grounded. The knees are soft. Let's go ahead and bring the palms together to your heart center and allowing a nice full breath cycle. Inhaling and exhaling. As you breathe in again, let's sweep the arms all the way up and overhead. An extension mountain pose. As you exhale, swan dive slowly down into the forward bend. As you breathe in again, come up halfway. Feel your heart somewhere near parallel with the floor. Maybe the fingertips are on the floor as you press the shoulders away from the ears. A nice flat spine. Breathe in again. And as you breathe out, folding a little deeper, looking between the calves, and step back with your right foot into a lunge. As deep or as shallow as you'd like to go. That right foot can be a little closer toward the right side of your mat. And we're going to turn the right fingers away from the left toes. Remember, your hand can be on a block if needed. And as you breathe in, lifting the left hand toward the sky. The chin can turn to gaze up softly. You can also look down at the floor, feeling that grounded hand press the earth away from you. Breathe in, finding length. Breathe out and bring that left hand down to the floor. Position. Upward push up pose. Feel the core engaged. A nice long body reaching out through the crown, out through the heels. And if you want to make this posture just a little stronger, you can allow your right leg to lift a little away from the floor. Let's go ahead and scoop into upward facing dog. That right foot can lower, pressing up, feeling the crown reach up, the shoulders roll open. Take a nice deep breath across your heart. Tucking the toes under. As you exhale, lifting the hips high into downward facing dog. Feeling your heels gently press down. The fingertips grounded, not just the heels of the hands. And actively pressing your tailbone toward the sky. Again, if you want to make this posture a little stronger, you can lift your right leg toward the sky, whether the leg is straight or bent, reaching over is your choice. We're about to step that right foot forward between the hands as you breathe in. Find the length in this straight leg lunge. Using your core and the next time you breathe in, let's lift the hands away from the floor, either in grace pose or in warrior one. Slide the shoulders down the back. Squeeze the navel toward the backbone. Take a nice deep breath across your heart. And then we're about to straighten that forward leg. So using your abdominal muscles, you can straighten the forward leg. You can even turn your back heel down. Let's take a nice deep breath, opening the heart toward the sky. And as you exhale, hinge halfway. Your hands can either stay alongside of the ears out into a T position, or they can come to the sacrum, whatever works best for you. Take a nice deep breath, pressing out through the crown. Exhale, and if you'd like to bring the hands to the floor, you can. Feeling your forehead gently press toward the right shin, and the crown gently pressing toward the right toes. You're doing a great job. Feel that stretch. Breathe into it, mind, body and breath in unity. Let's create another twist here. So as you breathe in, lifting the chest somewhere near parallel with the floor, 
We're going to turn the left fingers away from the right toes. And as you breathe in, lifting the right hand toward the sky. You can gaze up, feeling that right shoulder roll open, reaching through the crown as well as the tailbone. Take a nice deep inhale, feeling that center of balance. And as you exhale, bring that right hand down to the floor. Fold over just a little more to release the spine. And then we'll step that back foot forward into a forward bend. Release down. Waiting for your in-breath to lead with your chest. Come all the way up into the mountain pose. Allow the palms to come together and down to your heart. Hmm. Let's do the other side. Sweep the arms overhead, mountain pose. Exhale and swan dive down into the forward bend. We're going to look between the calves and this time we're going to step back with the left foot into a lunge. As you find this lunge, feeling the shoulders roll open, reaching from the heel out through the crown. Turning your left fingers away from your right toes, and as you breathe in, let's lift the right hand back toward the sky. You can gaze up softly, feeling that extension. You can also look down toward the floor, that left hand pressing the earth away from you. Take a nice deep breath in, and as you breathe out, let's bring the right hand down. Stepping that forward foot back into that push-up position. Remember, your knees can be on the floor if needed. And let's move the weight into the right foot. Only if you'd like, you can let the left leg float away, finding that strength with the breath. And then you can exhale, scooping into Upward Facing Dog. As the crown reaches up, Feel that in-breath opening through the chest. Breathe in, tucking the toes under, and as you breathe out, moving into downward facing dog. You can look at your knees, you can feel your tailbone pressing up, the fingertips grounding. And if you want to go a step further, you can lift that left leg toward the sky. Feeling the openness. Remember, you can also open the hip if you'd like. Take one more breath. And when you are ready, you can step that left foot between the hands back into the lunge. Waiting for your inhale, let's come all the way up into warrior one. Feel the shoulders slide down the back. The navel squeezing toward the spine. Opening the chest. Feel the extension, breathe in, and then the next time you breathe in, let's straighten that forward leg. You can turn the back heel down if you'd like, a little back arch as you open the heart toward the sky, and as you exhale, hinging halfway, arms either alongside of the ears, out to the sides, or on the sacrum. Roll your shoulders open. Find that length through the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, you can bring the hands down to the floor, folding over that forward leg. The knee can be soft, feeling the stretch through the hamstring as you press the left hip back a little. As you breathe in, let's come up halfway. Turning the right fingers away from the left toes. And as you breathe in, you can extend the left hand toward the sky. Breathe deeply here. Feeling your left hip press back. Staying only as long as the body allows. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring that left hand down to the floor. A little fold forward once again. And then we're going to step that back foot forward on the exhale. Finding the feet to line up as you release the spine all the way up to the head. Let's just inhale up halfway. Again, the fingertips can stay on the floor. If that's right for you. Pressing the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in. Breathe out and fold a little deeper. And the next time you inhale, let's use the core leading with the chest, coming all the way up into the mountain pose. Allow the palms to come together and down to your heart. Mm. 
drop your attention inside just to feel what's going on. We're about to move into a balance. So we might want to take a step back just a little. We're going to move into warrior three. So as you begin to feel the weight shifting into the left big toe, little toe and heel, make sure that your left knee is soft. You can inhale the arms overhead, finding length, and then we can extend that right leg straight back behind you. Your arms can either stay alongside of the ears, they can be at a T position, they can be on the sacrum, or if you're building your balance, the hands can stay on the floor. But feel the crown press forward. Feel the right heel press back. The toes are pointed toward the floor. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, bring the right foot down in line with the left. Fold a little deeper. And as you breathe in, let's come all the way up into the mountain pose. Tadasana, a gentle back arch. Let's try another balance. Exhale and fold back down. Bend both of your knees so that your palms are flat on the floor, directly under your shoulders. Now this one's gonna be a little more challenging. You can see how we have different modifications as we move through it. So your elbows are pressing into your knees. Your knees are pressing into your elbows. You can begin to shift the weight into the hands, finding your center of balance. If you feel more comfortable keeping the feet on the floor, keep them on the floor. You want one leg to float away and then the other, you can. Maybe you stay a couple of breaths, knowing you can always bring those toes back down. <sighs> Just fold over your legs. Feel the release through the spine. And when you're ready, we're gonna press the heels down and the hips toward the sky or in the forward bend. As you breathe in, let's come all the way up into the mountain pose. A gentle back arch. Let's exhale and dive back down into the forward bend. We're going to either hop or step the feet back into plank position. Upward push-up pose. When you find this place, you can move your weight into your left leg, allowing your right heel to float a little away. And we're going to press into down dog, pressing that right heel a little higher. Now we're gonna bring it just a little more into an arm strengthener by bringing that right knee toward the heart, back into that plank position. See if you can hover here for just a moment, knowing you can always bring that right knee to the floor into pigeon pose. Now at this place, you can always come into a forward bend and just relax over the forward leg. And even rock the hips a little side to side. If you're wanting to work with a little more strength, maybe you lift the arms overhead and exhale and fold over that forward leg. You can move in and out two or three times. You can stay and relax two or three breaths. But when you've had enough, bring the hands to the floor. Maybe you bring your back heel toward the buttocks. Circle that ankle. You can even reach back and hold the ankle if you'd like. If you want to move just a little deeper into a balance, maybe that forward hip elevates. Relax the shoulders. Come into the breath. And when you're ready to release, we're going to slowly lower that back foot down to the floor, the hands to the floor. And we're going to come back into downward facing dog. Heels pressing down. Now you can either hop or step the feet forward into the forward bend. Ah. Let's just inhale up halfway. Fingertips on the floor, pressing the shoulders away, finding length. Exhale and fold a little deeper. As you breathe in again, let's come all the way up into the mountain pose. A gentle back arch. And exhale the hands down to your heart. Hmm. Let's do the other side. Shifting the weight into the right big toe, little toe and heel. Inhale the arms up toward the sky. And as you exhale, you can begin to hinge with that left leg floating straight back behind you. If you fall out of the pose, just move right back into it. 
Use the abdominal muscles. Breathe. Find the placement of the arms that works for you. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, bring that left foot to the floor. You can fold down a little deeper. Let's go ahead and inhale, coming all the way back up into the mountain pose. And dive back down. Let's try that arm balance again. This is called crow pose. You can come into a low squat. The arms are on the insides of the knees. The elbows are soft as they press into the knees. Equal resistance. You can bring the weight a little more forward. Again, maybe one foot in the other. Maybe both feet, but there is no goal. Two deep breaths. When you're ready to come out, you can bring the toes down to the floor. And let's go ahead from this position. You can either hop or step back into plank position. When you find this upward push-up pose, let's go ahead and scoop into upward facing dog. Finding the arm strength. Opening the chest. Hmm. And now we're just going to move into plank position once again. As you find plank pose, moving the weight a little more into the right foot, the left leg can float away. As you exhale, you can move into down dog. That left leg lifted a little higher. And then we're going to try that little hover pose. Coming back into plank, the left knee toward the heart. Find length from the crown, out through the heel. And then you can set that left knee down. Your right heel is a little more toward, I'm sorry, your left heel is a little more toward your right hip. Opening the chest. You can also exhale and fold down over the forward leg. Doing the same thing on this side as you did on the other. So if you want to move in and out three times, you can. You want to stay and relax. Three breaths. You can. And the last time that you lift away, you can exhale the hands back to the floor, maybe bringing that back heel toward the buttocks, circling the ankle, or reaching back and holding it. If you want to bring it into a balance, feel the core engaged, the openness, and when you're ready to release, we're going to slowly lower that right foot down, the hands alongside of the hips, but this time we're just going to swing the feet around to the front. Anytime you're sitting, you want to use your core, you want to reach through the heels as the toes point back toward the chin. And as if the tailbone roots into the center of the earth, feel the crown reach all the way up, feel the shoulders relax down. Now, if you want to lift the hands up, you can, just to add more strength. Inhaling, opening the chest. As you exhale, hinge just enough to keep a flat back as the heart presses forward. Inhaling back up. Let's exhale and lean back a little. The arms parallel with the floor. The chest is open. The heels never leave the floor. Inhaling up, finding length and space, exhaling and hinging, reaching forward. One more time. Let's inhale up, exhale, leaning back. This time we're going to fold all the way down. Inhale into the seated position, exhale, the hands can come down to the ankles. You can round your lower, your middle, your upper back and your head. Feel the body relax. Mm. ready. You can look up at your toes. You can roll the shoulders open, finding length here. Anytime you're ready, you can add the arms, using the core to sit all the way up, and then exhaling the hands down. Let's go ahead and bring the fingers just behind the hips. The fingers are going to point toward the hips, but if you ever have any wrist issues, you can come knuckle down, and it is okay if the fingers point back. But notice the heart opening. Let's go ahead and bend the knees. This is going to be a reverse table. So as you use your core, 
Inhale and lift your hips away from the floor. You can use the abdominals to press the hips a little higher. If you want to go a step further, you can always bring the right knee in toward the chest and just hang out here. You can also lift that heel up. You don't have to stay long. You can bring the foot down. Let's do the same on the other side. You can bring that left knee in, hanging out here, or reaching it up toward the sky. Exhaling and releasing when the body says, the hips coming all the way down, just to release the back. Let's fold over the legs. Your knees can be bent, or if you want to stretch the legs out and fold down again. A deeper release through the sacral area, the lower back. <sighs> Let's move into a twist. So first, inhale, coming all the way up to a seated position. You can come down to your backs. Your hands can open out into a T position. Bringing the right knee toward the chest. That right ankle can sit next to the inside of the left knee. And as you exhale, you can lower the knees over toward the left side slowly. You can even turn the chin toward the right shoulder. Let's move in and out two more times. Inhaling back to neutral. Exhaling into the twist. Inhaling back up. And exhaling one more time. Take two deep breaths and let go where you can. And then when you're ready, you can inhale and lift. Placing the right foot on the floor. Bringing the left knee in toward the heart. Setting the left ankle next to the inside of the right knee. And as you exhale, you can lower the knees over toward the right side. The chin can roll toward the left shoulder. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling into the twist. Let your eyes close. Feel as though you're wringing out all of the stress and toxins. Inhaling back up. One last time. Exhaling into the twist. Two breaths. And when you complete, you can inhale, coming back to a neutral position, bringing both knees in toward the chest with the palms on the kneecaps. Allow your feet to stay relaxed. Your palms to never leave the kneecaps. And we're just going to move symmetrically as we wind it down. Inhaling the knees away from the chest slowly. Exhaling the knees inward, gently. The knees can be as wide apart, as close as you'd like, inhaling away and exhaling inward. Let's continue moving in and out with your breath. very important that you relax, releasing all of the muscles, allowing the body to rejuvenate itself, nurturing itself so you can always extend your legs along the floor, your hands a little away from your sides, the palms can face the sky. Feel the shoulder blades gently press toward one another to roll the tops of the shoulders open and reaching the neck away from the shoulders so that the crown is reaching all the way through. Your toes are relaxed. Your tongue is relaxed within your mouth. The lips are touching, but space between the upper and lower teeth. And when the mind strays off into thought, don't force that thought away. Just redirect your attention to a nice, relaxing exhale.
stay here as long as you'd like. You can end it just after a minute if you'd like. But let's go ahead and begin to wiggle the fingers, wiggling the toes. You can circle the wrists and the ankles. You can stretch the body long. You can come into a tuck and rock a little side to side. Mm. Eventually, making your way slowly back to a seated position. Dropping your attention back inside to observe a nice full breath. So I want to thank you so much for coming and practicing with us. Continue your practice finding that unity, mind, body, and breath. Namaste.